This video will explain the logging options available with the FIC. Additional videos are available for all facets of the FIC and will explain each setting and function in detail. There are two different methods available for data logging with the FIC. The first is with the internal logger. This method stores the log data on a chip in the FIC and allows you to pre-configure specific trigger points to activate and deactivate the logger. Afterwards, you download the log data to your PC for viewing. The second method is to use the PC itself as the data logger. Doing this allows you to log for an unlimited amount of time, but it requires the PC to be connected to the FIC for the entire duration of the logging. Both methods of logging will record all the available FIC parameters each time a data set is recorded. Let's start with the internal logger. Before you use this method, you need to set the trigger values. To do this, you need to open the setup page. You can click on the setup menu and select system, or you can click on the setup system icon. Once opened, you will see the FIC logger configuration settings. There are four conditions that need to be met before the internal logger will start recording. First, you have to set the load threshold. Second is the throttle position threshold and third is engine RPM threshold. The RPM, throttle, and load must all be above these values before the logger can work. If any of these fall below these thresholds, then the logger will stop. The fourth criteria is the logger enable switch. This is a white wire on pin 13 of the 22 pin connector. When this wire is grounded, then the logger is enabled. It is recommended that a switch be connected to this wire and the other side connected to ground. When the switch is activated, then the logger is enabled, and the fourth condition is met. Remember, all of the conditions must be met for the logger to start. The last configuration item on this screen is the sample rate. This is how often the logger will record a set of data. The fastest logging rate is a sample rate of 10. That means that a complete snapshot of data will be recorded every 10 milliseconds. That equals 100 data snapshots every second. Whenever the internal logger starts recording, it dumps the old data and starts fresh. It stops when one of the four conditions ceases to be met or when the logger memory fills up. If you don't download the data before you start a new log, then your old data is thrown out. If necessary, turn the log enable switch off to keep your existing data from being overwritten until you're in a position to download it. Once you have logged the data you're interested in, you need to download it to the PC. Connect to the FIC and select Logger menu and select Download FIC. You will be prompted for a file name and the system will offer a name that consists of the current date and time. Either accept this or type in another. Pressing Save initiates the download process and will save the data to your computer. The PC logging process is much simpler. Whenever you want to initiate a log, simply press the green PC Logger Start icon. It will turn red when the PC data logging is in process. When you're finished, press the icon again and it will open the file save dialog identical to the one used when downloading internal log files. The data is saved to your computer as a text file. It can be viewed in most any word processor, but is best viewed if you import it into a spreadsheet. In Microsoft Excel, you simply select File and Open. Then make sure you are viewing text file types and select the file. Use the default text import settings and the data will display correctly. That's basically it for the FIC logging functions. Please select additional videos for detailed instructions on specific functions.